Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good three-headed dog? Yeah, who's a good little demon dog? You are. You are. Oh, you're such a big old fluffy boy. Any game that allows you to pet a dog is a good game in my book. Welcome back to GD's to a brand new episode of Hades, where I'm a little bit thrown back by something immediately. I think we're in store for something a little bit special, more so than just petting the dog. Remember, this has been the better part of almost an entire year since I last played this game. And I was thrown back because when I went into my bed chambers earlier, getting ready for the episode, it says, go lie down. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember sleep ever being a aspect of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is going to be introducing more story elements into the game that, that, that I, I don't even remember. I, I, I cannot even begin to explain where it, I don't, I don't know. I, honestly, I'm, I'm so profoundly excited about this game in general, because not only is it just a roguelike, but it has so much story, lore driven, Greek mythology, and all these kind of aspects to the game that just really bring you in. It makes it just that much more fun. So if you guys not had the chance to like play this game yourself, feel free to go buy it. I think, honestly, I have no idea what the price is. It might be like 15, 20 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here on the screen. That's right. Future me. Don't skip past this part. Future me. Put it up on screen. Here's the price. Voila. So if you guys not had the chance to buy or play this game in general, just, just go buy it. It's an amazing game. You will not be disappointed. So, hey, I don't know what's about to happen, but I feel like I probably shouldn't talk during a lot of it. I, I think we're about to be having a lot of story elements here. And with that being said, if you guys like the episode, feel free to subscribe, comment down below, like the video. I'm also working on a music video that's going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for the community posts and all that fun stuff. But, all right enough talk i'm literally going to stop talking now so you guys can sit here and enjoy the story element that is hades thank you for watching let's get started it is the dead of night or the approximation of it in the realm of hades prince of the underworld zagreus rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions, so Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. Is the note written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard hades i can no longer tolerate my life here in this place so i'm leaving even if it kills me i won't be returning to olympus if there is a place where i belong in this world it must be somewhere between heaven and hell perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... But Father always said that Nyx was... M that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. 
Uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. You... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Uh, are, are, are we back? I think we're back. Um, okay, I honestly felt myself getting a little, I, I get emotional easily. I felt myself get a little emotional with that. His, his mother? So, Persephone? His mother is waiting somewhere. It, it's, and Nyx is not my mother. Okay, is there anyone to talk to out here? Can, can I continue the conversation? What's going on here? Nick, Nyx, hello. Can you, anything to say? No? A anything at all? No? A n nothing? Anyone got any dialogue? No, we're just going to skip over the whole fact that that, you know, suddenly that's I found out. I mean, this technically is said it was earlier. So this is in the context of it happened at a time before technically the game started. This is maybe the reason why we're trying to escape, you know, we're, we're trying to escape in general away from Hades, you know, away from our father. We're trying to get to the surface. We're searching for a mother of some sort. Well, I mean, a digit ease. I tell you what, I am even more just invested into this game in general now because of that and skelly you got some dialogue what do you got to say you gotta say you're really getting somewhere boy oh, i'm pretty impressed here and they don't even pay me to do that i'm just supposed to stand around does pay you skelly like is it is it father that's paying you what's your purpose here appreciate the vote of confidence mate maybe you're right and someday i'll get out of here hey if i never come back you won't just be stuck here forever will you <laughs> will he <laughs> will he a good one no probably not wasn't anything in the old contract about that <laughs> he's like oh, zagris please come back he's like i signed a contract and if you don't come back i'm stuck here forever <laughs> okay skelly i'll try my best to come back i'm, I'm sorry i think <laughs> okay well some of you may recall too in the last episode i didn't have a microphone it kind of had some issues wasn't working properly i couldn't get any voice going on with it it was whatever obviously you can tell that i fixed the issue but with that being said, we did also unlock a number of mementos given us to by the gods. And we should have, yep, hello, we have a whole bunch here. So we have one for 25 extra life total. And items from the Well of Charon have durations increased by plus four encounters. The next boon you find will be from Poseidon, but with a 10% chance to be a rare or better. It'll be from Aphrodite, Dionysus, dodge chance, and move speed each time you quickly clear an encounter. Wait, gain plus one dodge chance and move speed each time you quickly clear an encounter. What does that mean by quickly clear an encounter? What is quickly? And we also have the Cosmic Ed. Enter Chaos Gates without losing health. Blessings from Chaos have plus 20% chance to be rare or better. My God. Well, um, I, I, I mean, I, I don't really know exactly what to choose, but I think why don't we just go ahead and start with something simple. Plus 25 health to your life total in general. I think that'd be kind of good. Just to start off with an extra 25 because we only have 50 to start off with, which is not a lot. So that's something. And ooh, I really, really want those gloves. That we need eight, we need eight keys for that. Well, I tell you what, Digi's, I think we have found out today's objective. Trying to get keys for that glove, because that looks pretty nice. Now, should we check out the bow? I was not very fond of the bow, but you know, we've tried the sword, we've done the spear, we've done the shield. But to be fair, I only did the initial episode with the sword, and we also did the initial episode with the sword and the bow, and I really liked the bow. Well, I really liked the sword. I really did not like the bow. So why don't we go ahead and give the sword another chance here and try to collect as many keys as possible. 
So that way, even if we don't perhaps, you know, maybe have a good run and get all the way to the top like last episode, maybe I can get enough keys to unlock this new weapon for a brand new episode for tomorrow. So hey, let's get started. Enough talk, enough lore, enough jibber jabbering around. How about we just go right into the gameplay? Let's get started. Ready. Family. Death is your only family. Death and I. Best to get accustomed to the both of us. Uh, hello, father. Uh, thank you for the inspiring no, words. No yeah, no, not on your life. I'm sorry. I hello? What is this? Last time I felt a chill like this was on the surface. But who? Well, one way to find out. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I understand, young Sagrius, that you would seek to leave that bitter darkness for this bitter cold. Quite honestly, I fail to see why. But I'll aid your plight, why not? For I can offer plenty of assistance. And you soon shall grow fond of it, I think. You think? What kind of boons do you have? Your attack is stronger and inflicts chill. Okay, first of all, immediately, my god, hello? Plus 40% attack damage and chill. So chill does status curse for 8 seconds. Victim is slowed by 4%. Effect can stack up to 10 times. So 10 times, 40%. So I can slow them down by like 40% on the bosses? Oh my god. Well, uh, okay. Your cast drops a crystal that fires a beam at foes for 5 seconds for 8 damage every 0 0.2 seconds. So let's... So 8 damage every 0 0.2 seconds, that basically means 8, 16, 24, 34, 42, that, well that's 42 damage for 1 second, and then for 5 seconds, that's, hang on, wait, yeah, wait, so there, there's 5, yeah, so 8 times 5, that's 40, so 40 damage times 5, so 4 times 5, two, that's 200 damage, hello? As much as I would really, really want this attack damage, I think the fact of 400 whatever damage, I might be doing my math wrong, but that seems... A little OP. Let's try it. How effective is this? Uh, uh, <laughs> pretty effective, I gotta say. That's, that is pretty effective. Uh, hello? I mean, it fires in a straight line, so it's a little hard to kind of aim it, I suppose. But it kind of just auto-aims itself, actually? Oh my god. Well, and we're starting off with a, with a well of Charon. I, Digides, I have no words for how this run is about to go because this seems like it's really stacking up to be something special so i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far which of course if you are like and comment subscribe all that fun stuff and let's get blown away by whatever is about to happen i hope this run goes well Okay, hang on. Let me focus on a certain line right there. I am not. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I am familiar with all of the lore and you know mythology of these characters. But chaos. I persist only here in faith. Says I know what lies out there, having created it. So chaos, the primordial or originator, is God in a sense. Like he is the creator of all. Well, that seems interesting. I'm even talking to him. So what kind of choices do we have here? Afterwards, boons have a 40% chance to be rare. Eh. Your cast deals plus 32% damage. Okay, considering the fact that I already do like 400 whatever damage it was, or a lot of damage. Um, and then I, plus 32%, so my rune ability is going to be absolutely phenomenal. For next four encounters, you take 48% extra damage. Well, uh, so I just won't get hit. Simple, easy, right? Well, what could go wrong? I'm going to get some gems here because there are a lot of things we, all, we can also unlock inside the dungeon in general with gems. And that will just help improve our overall runs just to try to, you know, Oh, it does, it does, it auto locks on. Oh my god, it auto locks onto enemies. I didn't realize that that is, I know it looked like it's kind of doing this, you know, earlier, but that is actually auto locking onto enemies. Holy crap. Yeah, 2025, it's, it's doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, I need to start focusing down a little bit more. Let's not focus so much on the casting and start focusing on just laying it down, let it do its own thing and dodge everything in the way because we do not want to be taking any extra damage for four encounters. I guess three more encounters after this now. A little bit of gems keep on moving along. You know what? These episodes are getting a little bit faster and faster, but with each bit of dialogue, it really does keep on getting longer and longer. So honestly, what do I know? <laughs> you know, but it seems a lot of different story elements are unlocking at this point simply because last episode we did get up to the surface and fight our father a little bit. I'm glad to see that the story is progressing at a very steady pace that always keeps you kind of involved into the story in general. Lay this down early, try to get that guy damaged up a little bit, 
God, that auto targeting is absolutely amazing. So only come. Oh, never mind. There's another wave. I was about to say we only have a few more enemies to go. Move out of the way of the explosive. If mind, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage. Keep on moving. We got a whole bunch of dark wizard money gangs floating around here. And we don't have to worry about picking up our casting room there. Once you go out of a, into another room, it does auto pick up for you. We're going into a room full of more health. So we're going to be sitting at 100 health, which is actually pretty good. Pretty good to start off with a little early on in the game, you know? With our Cerberus kind of artifact that goes on, plus our 25. With our base of 50, I can up to 100. God, that did a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting him to already have armor on like, what is this? Like the second room, the third room? already has armor on himself so that would did a little bit of damage to me which is unfortunate considering that i take like what 48 percent extra damage right now which is quite a lot quite a lot yeah that did like 64 damage there for a little while if that stayed on a boss that can do a lot of damage plus 25 we don't need to do a merchant right now we only have 39 gold we do have a shop here do i explain well flame foes have a 15 percent chance to drop items um yeah yeah, let, let's do that because I took some damage trying to get into the well of Charon to begin with. So I'm going to need that extra health capability to heal back what I've lost so far. And that's going to be nice, which means I can be a little bit careless, but I probably shouldn't be careless. And why do they all have armor? <laughs> why do they all have armor? Oh my God. And you know, I've got to say, as I smash down on the keyboard a little bit, trying to dodge around here, I, you know, I try my absolute best to try to not make any of the keyboard sounds come through in the microphone. Again, I have the microphone a little bit further away. You know, I try to keep the keyboard a little bit further away. I try not to hit the keyboard as hard and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it still comes through. And I am consistently always thinking about, like, when I watch quote-unquote better YouTubers, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it is. It's better YouTubers. I always sit there and wonder, like, how do you guys play these games and not have the sound come through? Like, what kind of audio mixing do they have? What kind of microphones do they have that can get out of this background noise? Like, what kind of noise suppression capabilities do these guys really have? I, I has so many questions all the time of how to better my audio quality and that's probably got to be the number one topic on my mind most times when i'm recording videos is audio quality because i don't know if it's just because i'm a little bit special or whatever i have you in the mind that when i watch videos i particularly always pay attention to the background sounds even when i like listen to songs you know i don't care about the guitar riffs that is absolutely just you know killing it right now who is just absolutely riffing up see update what do we get learn by slaying more ringers okay I don't really necessarily care all that time about what is going on in the song itself. I'll be like, oh, hey, I can hear behind this giant guitar riff of pure awesomeness. I can hear that one guy in the back of the room with the tambourine, you know, <laughs> you know, that one guy that actually went Ch -ch -ch -ch. like, all right, good job, bro. Like, I always listen to those background sounds. So audio is always a bit of an issue with me. I'm always trying to listen on the audio, trying to make sure that all the keyboard sounds are good. Any like weird mouth noises and smacking of the lips are mitigated as much as i possibly can because i just i hate having to you know listen to that i hate having that in my audio when i know i could do better i am better i should do better you know stuff like that and also it's kind of nice that there are i'm taking some damage but there are a lot of enemies in this room which is nice because they all have a 15 percent chance of dropping me extra health so even when i take a little bit of damage like that i have a chance to actually heal up a little bit if they end up dropping a little bit let me can I get back my rune, please? Can I get back my, my crystal? Thank you. Activate that. Activate that. Oh, God. Try to dodge everything that I can. Be a little bit more conscientious, uh, conscious about where I'm dodging around. And these enemies actually do not seem to be spawning food. Maybe they don't spawn because there are just a whole bunch of minions being summoned. Not entirely certain. Throw it out another cast. That should be doing massive amounts of damage, which it is. It's kind of nice, though, that you can just lay that down in general and just have it doing damage while I focus on taking out the smaller units. It's just kind of allows you to focus elsewhere if you really need to, which is a very nice aspect in general. So if I go ahead and throw this thing down, I want to see how much damage does it really do. 80, 110, 130, 150. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm trying to look at the damage numbers, though. I'm taking a little bit of hits myself, trying to pay attention to that instead. Now, all these small guys are blocking the shots a little bit. Let's just focus down the boss. There we go. Now we're done. Now we're beautiful. We got Ares. Thank you. Thank you. I try to kill as many people as I possibly can. I hope saying those words aren't going to flag the automated systems of YouTube and trying to, you know, demonetize or, you know, ban or shadow ban my video, you know. Which I hate using the word shadow ban because a lot of the time when people use that is just because they're like, oh, I'm not getting enough traction. I must be shadow banned. 
But you know what? Sometimes the algorithm really does. Let me choose something here. Your dash grace of blade rift where you started, your attack inflicts doom. I kind of want to do the blade rift where I started because that is just a lot of free damage in general when I'm dashing around. Um, as I was saying, is that I know that the AI or the algorithm in general of YouTube actually watches what you say in a video and can use that almost as a bit of a description in a way to how it wants to push that video to other viewers. So if you say a lot of controversial topics in a single video, there's a good chance that even though your title, your thumbnail, your description, whatever have you, doesn't mention anything of the sort that's controversial, it can still be countered as controversial in general simply because of the things that you said inside the video without a manual or review or anything of the sort in general try to get out of the way there are a lot of skulls that are about to hit me there <laughs> there are a lot there's a lot let's lay down my there's a lot of skulls in general I, at all oh my god hello trying to lay down the crystal do as much damage as i can they're doing a lot of damage oh my god i need to try to get out of the area i don't want to be hit by any of them i know the second i get hit by any of that stuff i'm gonna be losing a lot of health there we go there we go almost done almost done with the round almost done survive a little bit longer get a little bit of gold ah oh, took one hit there at the end oh god oh god it took one hit there at the very end there we are what is the thing that got updated uh the hideous appearance of this mound of human looking skulls effectively deters any who wander out into the regions of the underworld within an endless litany of numb skulls awaits to clatter forth mindlessly praying on what little life essence that they are like to find Oh, I was reading it so well in there until the very end. <laughs> I was reading it so well. Um, how much money do I have? I actually can't see how much money I have because a steam pop-up. There we go. Now we can see it. 222 gold. Hello? For 100 gold, I can just get 25 extra health right there. I mean, sure, it doesn't restore any, but I'll take a free upgrade pretty much right there. Because the next one is just going to be darkness. I really want to get, you know, keys to unlock the gauntlets, but we're not really seeing any key options, like, at all. So, uh, I'm trying to see what I can do. So I'll, I'll take the free health upgrade. Well, not free, but, you know, for 100 gold, that's basically free without having to go through an encounter for it. Hey, I got a laser of my own. How do you like that? Yeah, you don't like that at all, do you? Yeah, you died. It can't be very good for your health. <laughs> yeah, my laser is better. It does more damage than your laser. My laser is awesome. My laser is bought by dad and Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, try to stay out of the way. We're getting some uh, traps down in the room. Those little pressure plates end up firing out little projectiles. Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. I know those crystals were about to fire. One more crystal. Hello there, buddy. Smack you away. Why don't we? And the big old hammer, dude. Dead, 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 and dead. <laughs> Beautiful. Take up the darkness. What else do we have around here? Nothing in particular. All we have is the gold room. You know what? Even if we don't get all eight keys this episode, I will probably play a little bit then offhand just to make sure I can get those keys. So that way, next episode, I can assure you that we do end up getting those gauntlets for a brand new concept so you guys can see something a little bit more fun, you know, something a little bit more nuanced and, you know, well, new in general. I think the gloves are really powerful. Back when I used to play this game a whole bunch, I, I vaguely remember using the, the primarily the gloves for a lot of my runs in general, trying to get the furthest with that. And there are a lot of enemies. Holy crap. Luckily, none of them see. Oh, this one has a little bit of armor. Took a little bit of damage there. And a little bit more damage there. I'm not very good at dodging. I'm not sure what it is about my skill level in general. I seem to run into things a lot. Uh, excuse me. Can you just get out of there? I can't. I can't reach you. Thank you. Just die. <laughs> I can't reach him. Um, yeah, our only option here is just a power up. I'm not really getting a lot of options here, but uh, I, I guess I'll take it. You know, it's something is something. It was better than just getting darkness or just getting gold. You know, gold is all right. It helps you buy some things, but uh, I don't really need it at this point. I'd rather be taking boons. I'm hoping that this run in general is going to be, you know, a really good run because we had a lot of story elements. I would love to continue the story in general. Just that way, one, so I don't got to play my own lonesome, you know, off camera away from you guys. You know, I'd like to have everything that we progress on to be in game. Because at that point, if I want to do, ah, ran into a trap. If I want to do any off like camera or, or out, off screen like farming, I basically have to make sure that nothing progresses the story. You know, if I see something happening, I, I'm gonna just gonna have to like stop playing. You know, I'm just gonna have to quit out eventually, like, immediately. Or if I come across, I'm gonna have to like keep on dying in, like the first few waves just to try to get keys and then just die real quick. Just make sure I don't activate anything. Um, I would kind of like to get more dash because I mean. It's not going to be that much more damage increase for a crystal beam. I would kind of like to do the blade dash in general because these little rifts that we're leaving behind here, they do a lot more damage than you think. 
we do have the merchant there oh but we have the hammer i would like to go to the merchant because we have 272 gold but the hammer oh and we don't have to fight for it oh baby this is gonna be good because this typically yep look at this this typically gives you some very good base stats your attack deals 200 damage striking foes from behind your special hits a wider area and deals 20 percent damage your special hits twice but no longer knocks foes away i'm gonna do my base attack deals 200 damage hitting them from behind by the way our special is you know this is kind of like area of effect of ability which you know it's not bad it's pretty good but that's not really the run that i'm going for i'm just kind of going for a base attack type of you know situation now because we already have beaten meg with this weapon instead of getting titan blood we are getting darkness hello You know, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is some good story elements right here. So Meg actually knows. She, she knows about my mother and she was hiding this entire time. But now she knows that I know. Well, okay. Well, cool. I've hope enough. Not that it's any of your business anymore. Yeah, Meg, wh who are you to talk? Your family is here. And so is your responsibility. You're running from yourself. Though, I can slow you down a bit, I think. Meg, I know you think that you're helping, but is my family really here? My father, Hades, really seems to just kind of berate you all the time. Nyx has been lying to us this entire time. It's not actually our mother, and we found out that our real mother is actually up ahead and still loves us or something, but just had to leave. So, uh, I can't necessarily... I can't necessarily say that I believe you. So I'm going to try to activate my rift on top of her. Activate my crystal. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to see if I can activate multiple rifts right on top of her. Yeah, that is so much damage. That is doing a lot to her with this crystal on top of the wrist. Yeah, she falls right into it. Double rift on top of her. Do some attacks. That is sexy. We are already like halfway through her health. Try to stay out of the way. Try to stay out of the way. Not doing a good job of staying out of the way. Taking damage. Taking hits. Hit some of these projectiles. Oh, come on. You're telling me that you got me? I smacked you with my sword. You should have been stunned the second you did that. Shouldn't have been able to get your attack, your attack motion out. Your animation. Come on, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. You're just being rude. I do do 200% damage from behind, so I'm going to try to hit her from behind like this backstabbing. Nice, nice. That is just a lot. That's like 70 damage per hit I saw there. Uh, try to stay out of the way of all her projectiles. Kind of working, kind of. Not by a lot. Oh, what? I was not in your path for that. I was not in that way. I was completely out of the way of that hit there. That is bogus. Excuse me. I would like to, uh, I would like a refund on that play right there. <laughs> Try to take her out. And you know, it is a uh, just like I said yesterday in my uh, in the intro of the video is that commentating the entire time while playing a game really does make playing a game harder. You know, you try to concentrate a little bit more. I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful about my keyboard smashes and just trying to think about the words that you're saying in general. Try to get her up against the wall. Try to get that going. You summoned on top. Oh, come on. Come on. Move out of the way. 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 Activate my crystal. Hopefully that'll get her. I'm running away. Running away. <laughs> and the crystal got her. <laughs> there we go. Get out of here, Meg. I took way too many hits with that. There were a couple instances there. Like, first of all, that attack animation with the hammer guy, plus her also like dash ability. I'm both of those. I swear to God, there's no way that should have been able to hit me. But all right. I see how it is. And it only restored 25 health. I could have swore it was going to be more than that. It's not a lot of health. Well, we only have... I mean, we could get rid of Cerberus's stuff, right? Because we have 125 health, but we only have, like, less than half of that. So we could get something else. Let's see here. Chaos Gates, uh, Ch Dodge Chance, Next Boon, Dionysus, Welkaron. I mean... Yeah, I guess we may as well just stick with the, with um, maybe we'll just stick with the Cerberus kind of thing. We might be able to heal back up, restore 40 health for 32 gold right there. Uh, next when you finally have an upgraded rarity. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We're still sitting at 199 gold after that. We're still sitting very pretty, you know, so we should be good. I want an extra rarity because that's just improve my run in general, because that's just going to, you know, make me a little bit stronger. Make sure I give you guys a good episode. And honestly, I'm consistent. I got to tell you, I'm consistently surprised by the fact that I'm able to talk so much. It, the words just keep on flowing out. They don't, they almost just never stop. Like you're, you might, you know, if you really take that into account, try talking for an entire hour straight without stopping. That is essentially just what I do. <laughs> that is, I, I don't know how I do it. I really don't know how I do it. I did. I just do it. It just happens. It just comes naturally, I suppose. 
you know, I really like, you know, I, I've talked about him before. I really like the creator, Christopher Odd. He is kind of, a, he is in kind of a inspiration in general of how I like to make content. Just very straightforward, very to the point, very, doesn't have to be a super high edited type of video, which I've talked about a little bit before. Oh, that was a very short encounter. Uh, Lady Athena. Of seasons decided to take an interest in your struggles, Zagreus. I did not count on Demeter being a part of this. Take heart, though use discretion around her. Oh, so the Athena is aware of her. Very nice. What do we have here? Ooh, so we have your call brief that makes you impervious and deflect all attacks. So effect duration 1.86 max gauge six times duration. So that's basically gonna be like six times so that's gonna be 12 seconds, almost like probably like 10 seconds of pure. In imperviousness your special strong can deflect i'm gonna go ahead and just take that because my call that's gonna be really good for the ending like bosses like hello that is amazing uh well they're just talking about yeah christopher odd you know i always like watching his content in general because i always like the concept of just being able to just play a game enjoy it doesn't have to be super high edited just enjoy it for what it is enjoy the personality enjoy the kind of like, the leisure being able to sit down and just almost feel like you're kind of hanging out with somebody you know but he definitely talks and commentates in a very different method he um let me try to imitate a little bit of how he talks here in terms of like like cadence you know not necessarily like the way he talks but like but like the cadence of how he talks i'm going to try imitating it here instead of what i do <clears throat> oh yeah okay yeah i'm taking a little bit of damage here nice 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 okay so there are a couple more waves there we go Ooh. okay let's be a little bit more careful we got a couple of bombs coming in let's focus on him and honestly, that right there, <laughs> that right there is probably still too fast. I don't know how to talk slow. <laughs> I don't know how to talk slow. Like, I can't even try to replicate his style of being just more relaxed in your play style. Like, I don't, I guess, I, I guess I just don't know how to play relaxed. Like, I am relaxed playing this, but I just, I talk a lot, you know? Which, you know, hey, by, by the way, leave a comment down below. Do you guys like that I rant on consistently and so fast? I like your Hermes, you're just like me. <laughs> I like your Hermes, you're very fast. Your God Gage, he charges up automatically 1% every two seconds. So that basically takes like what? For 100%, that's gonna take 200 seconds, 200 seconds, like 60, 120, 180. It's gonna take like two, it's gonna take like three and a half minutes to charge up fully if they were to just sit there and do nothing. Um, I, I think I'll take that. Considering the fact that my God Gage or my ability is gonna give me completely impervious damage. Oh, I know we got, key. I know we want keys, but like, we have 250 gold and the merchant is right there. It's right there. And the merchant is also a free encounter too. Like there's not gonna be any enemies. Let's just take the merchant. I know, I know. I'm probably gonna have to farm the keys off camera is what I'm looking at here. Hello? I have a rod of fishing? I, I'm fishing? Press E when I get a bite. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Are you waiting? I got it. Come on. Oh, okay. Catch a cru a crustacean. Oh, very nice. I caught myself a crustacean. See, updated. The almond heatproof carapace of the crustacean makes it perfectly suited for quietly, for quietly surviving, if not thriving, in the fire river slashing all the way across Asphodel. Very nice. Okay. I, I basically caught a crawfish. Uh, so we have 251 gold. Ooh, baby. That means that we can get an upgrade for Ares. Ooh, oh, hello, your blade rift effect lasts longer and pulls foes in and pulls foes in. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so that's just going to bring in enemies and kind of like consolidate them into like a single point. Hell yeah. I'm going to get an upgrade here. What do I want? Uh, I don't need effect duration could be nice, but I'm not going to use that all the time. But my cast, I use the cast a lot more. This is not giving me as much damage. Last time I upgraded this, it gave me plus six. Now it's giving me plus four. So I'm going to go with this one because plus two is pretty good over the duration of the, you know, crystal. Yeah, I'd imagine he sails around on a boat the entire time. And I've got to get better at uh, not talking at the very start of dialogue when I just, I seem to just active, I just automatically just activate it in my mind. <laughs> Scientists are just what sort of hideous monstrosity awaits me over on the next infernal island, Kiron mate. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> I think he's laughing at me, Kiron. <laughs> you got any any words updated? 
I got a little heart from the Stagon Boatman has lots of things, although I'm afraid he isn't much of a conversation. Yeah, I, I'd say he doesn't exactly say much. So we have ourselves a mini boss room coming up next for Aphrodite, I believe she, that little heart symbol is. Oh, this boss isn't bad. First of all, let me activate the rift because that is going to be doing for my casting ability because that can be doing a lot of damage on this primarily stationary. Oh, sh Medusa does. I'm stuck. I got frozen on top of the fire. Ah, <laughs> I'm. I'm taking so much unnecessary damage. Ah, how am I getting hit? How am I getting hit so much? I don't understand. How are you hitting me? I'm bending out of the way of your of your little. I'm stoned again. How? How are you hitting me? I don't understand. How are you doing this? I'm getting out of the way, aren't I? There's something I'm not understanding here. I feel like I'm getting out of the way of your attacks and hitting them. Hitting them should be deflecting them, right? I mean, the hits deflect shots. They they should be they they should be not being able to touch me with that because my sword is just so much in the way yes yeah, so get out of the way get out of the way gosh she rotates fast huh all right well now i only have you to worry about which i'm not worried about at all so he's gonna land on down ah jump right into the fire don't even get a chance to do any damage to him just smack him a little bit let's just let's be careful about it let's be methodical be methodical don't have to be anything special yep get out of the way activate the cast do a little bit extra damage there we go. I'm gonna use my impervious here because I'm a little bit of fire damage. Let him land on me. Don't even care. Because we are 100% invulnerable in this mode. Yeah. 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 There we go. Beautiful. Taking way too much damage though on that round. That was quite a bit. why Lord Hades would have kept your mere existence hidden from us all this time. Perhaps he knew that once you met us, you would stop at nothing to come seek us out. I mean, I don't know if I'm necessarily seeking you out. I think I'm seeking out my mother. Also, am I going to get banned for Aphrodite's, like, <laughs> Aphrodite's art there? Yeah, her art form is, um, uh, well, I mean, Aphrodite, goddess of love. There's a reason why everybody calls her the most beautiful god there is, because, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Your attacks deal more damage and flick weak, so that way they do less damage against me. After you take damage, the foes around me get weak. Resist some damage from nearby foes' attacks. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just do weak because 30% less damage to them is 30% less damage taken from them is gonna be more than taking 13% less damage in general. So yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And also the attack damage upgrade is gonna be very nice to that. So let's see if I can try to survive without using my death defiance because we only have 16 health left. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not that's not very good. <laughs> that's not very good. I'm the way of the bomb as I nearly drumped myself into that. My God. It's because I, I am very, it's because I smack down on the dash a lot. I think it's because I use my dash as my primary movement. I just kind of like dash around everywhere that I definitely keep on putting myself in unnecessary danger without thinking about too much about the direction that I'm going with, with my dashes. So I should be a little bit more cognizant about where I am moving around on the map. But I think for me, it's also just trying to judge the distance that throws me off a little bit because I don't expect myself to necessarily like like I need to dodge in a direction, but then I end up dodging directly into something rather than, you know, away from it, unfortunately. Let's see here. Anything necessarily special? What are you? I don't like that little fire demon looking thing on the side of the lake. That is very scary. I am scared. I, I, oh, I would really love to get this mini boss double boon right there, but let's be honest here. I am probably going to die doing that. Uh, but that'd be such a nice upgrade though. But what's the point if I lose a death defiance? Let's go on to the room that doesn't require an encounter. Hello? Singing. Here? Yeah, singing? I... I thought I was going to go into the room from last episode where that guy was carrying the giant rock. I don't know what his name is. The guy that pushes up the giant boulder. Come on in. Okay. Hang on. I, I come on. I'll listen to the song for a second. That's beautiful. So who are you? Hey, you must be the Hades kid. How's it going then, your royal majesty? Nice to meet you. I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like this? Eurydice? Carefree muse? A a Eurydice? A Eurydice? Hi there. No need for formalities. I'm Zagreus. Just heading out on some official business past the menacing Bone Hydra. Don't mean to be rude, though I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, don't you have your hands full, hon? I'll let you go. But there's one rule in my place, which is nobody leaves here empty handed. You got that? So take your pick. My treat. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a free whatever. What, what do we have here? Uh, I love by the gods. Up to two random boons of yours are upgraded to the next rarity. Okay. Uh, up to four random boons of yours gain plus one level. Oh my god. A rare and fragrant beverage. The next three boons you find have upgraded rarity. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just take four random upgrades to everything that I have here because I only have two boons to upgrade, which means both of them are going to get double upgrades. It's going to be my cast damage and it's going to be my rift damage, right? You got what's, what's it going to give me? Oh no, it also upgraded the other one. Okay, so we have, I now do 11 damage for my beam. I now do 22 damage for my blade dash. I now have a longer duration for my impervious, like, it, invulnerability. And my attacks deal more damage, and I now do 86% extra damage. My god, okay, that was amazing. That is a great upgrade. And straight into a merchant? Oh, <laughs> and into a merchant? And into a merchant? Well, this, this, this floor just got a whole lot easier. I don't have to worry about, well, I still have to worry about dying, but, um, Oh, we have 57 gold and just enough to get 50 health back. You, oh, baby. Now that is what I'm talking about. We may still just save this run yet. Uh, onto the Hydra. You know, this from last episode, he was a little difficult. There was a lot going on there for his second stage. The second stage was pretty hard. Back, just like your stupid heads. Hey there. <laughs> what is that? Ler Lernanian Bone Hydra? Wait, why do I do what am I doing? Just go ahead and activate the crystal. Yeah, I, I don't I don't even need to attack this guy, right? I could just I could just stand back and activate the crystal. Let's be smart about this. Let's not let's not yeah let's be smart about this as I nearly take damage smacking right into him. Ooh, that was close. Nope, take take you I can deflect these. See that's what I'm talking about. I should be deflecting the shots, but uh, it was, didn't seem to work for that um uh, didn't seem to work for Medusa at all because her shots just seemed to smack me head on last time. What am I stuck on? Pots? Stop it. Oh god, oh god. Are you still not onto your next stage yet? Come on, just die already for me, why don't you? There we go. Now we're on to the next stage. Give me this crystal. Give me this crystal back. Move out of the way. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Okay, you are all bunched up on yourself a little bit. I need to get out of the way of all the fire. All the fire. Activate the crystal. The rune. I'm sorry, I keep on calling it a crystal. It's a rune. I mean, it is essentially a crystal now, but it's a... Uh, <laughs> the more I sing, the better I do. Is that how... What? You didn't even show signs of being ready to attack me. What are you talking about? How did you get a shot off on me? You were just standing there without any attack animation going on. Then you suddenly strike forward. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I watch you for attack animations here to make sure I don't take any hits. Like that, like that. He pulled back there for a moment. That's an attack animation that I'm worried about, you know? That's what I'm trying to dodge. Ooh, do, 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 do. He always keeps on doing that. I don't know why I keep on falling for it. I have my ability to do my call here to be impervious, but no point in it. I'm going to wait until he summons his next wave of Hydras. Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're, now you're summoning? You just did another attack. How are you attacking again already? Okay. Okay. Where's my crystal? There's my crystal. I'm going to go ahead and do off a few shots. Let's just activate it now. Activate it now because I, am, I don't want to be caught off guard here. I'm just going to do as much damage as I possibly can to both of these guys. Use my perviousness to my advantage. Just do as much as I can. Take out an entire side so I can focus on another side. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's wait a second. Let's wait for the fire to dissipate. Wait for uh, Lernarni and the Bone Hydra there to kind of get out of his little way. Nice. Use my crystals to my advantage. Move out of the way. Not to worry about it. One crystal nearly takes out all of one Hydra. Do a couple of extra attacks. He's taken out. Nice. Take a very slow and methodical. Be smart about it. Let's not be dumb, which is the opposite of being smart about something. You know, obviously, that's just how language works. Activate the crystal. There we go. Do some good, nice free damage. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ah. How'd you manage? How'd you manage? I swear I was doing a good. Oh, he's still hitting the ground. He is still hitting the ground. No. Okay, I, don't, I can't believe I took. Oh, activating, activating, deflected. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand how I keep on taking all this damage. I'm, it is actually beyond my understanding at all. I, I can't wrap my head around how I keep on taking hits. I'm doing everything that I can to dodge this stuff. But we do manage to take out the Hydra. There we go. There, I don't know. How can I get better at this? I don't, where am I taking hits? Like, where am I going wrong? You know, feel free to give me pointers. Because I, I actually cannot think of a single way how to do that better, at, like, at all. Like, I, 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 I don't understand it. 
Like, I, I'm doing everything that I can to dodge out of the way, but apparently I'm still taking hits. Do I need to be slower, faster? Do I need, do I need to get more dashes? I, I don't know, you know, but uh, I guess just practice becomes perfect, more or less. What do we have here for the shop? Doesn't matter. I only have seven gold. I can't buy anything. <laughs> but we did manage to get past the Hydra, so we are on to the final, like, area, floor, in a way. Which, we hey, we're, we're doing some good progress here. We're, like, what, 45 minutes into the episode? Not bad. So it takes about an hour to do a full run, you know, given that you actually survive. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. Right. This is a very nice, like, greenish area. It's very beautiful. The students in Theseus. Yeah, they're probably expecting me. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Uh, I'm probably going to take another weapon upgrade because I don't really need another power-up to any of my abilities. They've already kind of had diminishing returns to a point that they don't even really do all that much when I upgrade them now. Try to focus this guy down. Just keep him stunned against the wall. I gotta be careful with this floor though in general because these guys don't seem to like or take very much knockback at all. But yeah, see like that right there. Like I should be stunning him with my attack. So there is something fundamentally about this game that I don't understand with stunning and knockback because like I thought in general, like when they don't have armor, when you hit them, they should be stunned, right? Like I, every single shot should be 100% stunning them. But even there in that little interaction, I managed to take another quick hit there which is a little upsetting. Trying to get out of the way here, not smack down on the keyboard as much, but it's probably 100% coming through on the microphone. It is what it is. I mean, the, to be fair, a lot of the time, the reason that it comes through on the microphone is because it is also piggybacking. How are you hitting me? How? How? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm hitting you so much. You should be all stunned. What is it about this that I'm not understanding? There, there, there has to be something here that I'm not understanding that I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, 300% extra damage to armor. Please, please. I am going to take that over everything because these armor folks are the ones that are just, I, they are doing so much to me. Ah, uh, do I want to get more health? Not really. I kind of do. I kind of do. We'll be fine. We still got a death defiance, right? We still got one revival. We should be good. Question mark. <laughs> we should be good. If I just play things smartly, right? So these things should be getting stunned as I hit them. Apparently not, though. They just seem to be charging forward headlong without a care in the world. So these guys can't be stunned. Noted. Chariots cannot be stunned. And they turn on a dime. Like, hello? My God. <laughs> you know, they can be stunned. I'm stunning them right now. I don't, I don't get it. So somebody who does understand this game a little bit better, I... I I beg of you, please, I'm going to need an explanation of how the stunning works in this game because I just took another shot there despite the fact that I was smacking all of them headlong. What do we have here? Ooh, baby, your dash shoots a gust. No, I don't want to get rid of my blade rift. Your cast fires longer. Your cast fires longer and inflicts chill. So it gives me plus 2.4 seconds on my cast and it makes them slower. Yeah, that's not bad. Again, be pretty good for the bosses. Uh, we only have 75 gold, but I will take a free interaction. I don't really care about the gems, but a free interaction will be good. Plus, he has a chance to maybe have food. He does have food. Yes, thank you. Plus 50. And I heard that little ding for a fish. No? Who is the wealthiest in, Elys in Elysium? Aren't I basically the wealthiest? But we do have a fishing spot here. A little bit hidden behind the backdrop. A little bit hard to see the bobber there. Not going to lie. Trying to keep a focus on it. Have my finger hovering over to catch it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I caught a carp. Uh, I'm sorry. A charp. Not a carp. A charp. It is uh, with the H. Charp. Elysium charp. No. Yeah, the Elysium Sharp seems to be shade of a surface-dwelling fish highly reminiscent of it with similarly multicolored scales and plies it almost contemplative temperance. That's a lot of big words for just saying Sharp. <laughs> That's a lot of big words. All right, let's take the mini boss room since we did get a little bit of health back here. But yeah, I think as I was saying before, there's a fundamental thing about this game that I'm not understanding about the idea of, like, stunning. Because I thought, in general, if they don't have armor, 
and you just hit them, they, they get stunned, right? They get stuck there. They can't attack. They can't move. They are just basically at the mercy of your shots there. And oh my God, I'm doing a lot of damage to these guys. Holy crap. <laughs> that did a lot. Just absolutely blade ripped on top of that guy. Use my imperviousness. Yeah. Yeah. Use my vulnerability there for half a second. Just to make sure I don't take any hits from him because he is about to smack hard into me. I can probably use that to my advantage again. I really do not like those archers. They are difficult to dodge, if not impossible to dodge, because it's hard to keep an eye on when they're about to attack you. Your special starting note, you begin each counter with a gauge gauge partially full. I start with 30% extra charge. Yes, that's basically a free imperviousness right off the bat. Um, That is gold. This is going to be, let's take an, an Aphrodite kind of, you know, encounter may as well. More boons, more power, more better pizza, Papa John's. <laughs> Keep on moving through, dodge out of that. Ooh, the bomb actually goes off and hurts all of them. I'm gonna activate my previousness there for half a second because they were all grouped up there and they're probably about to hit me collectively. Move out of the way. Ooh, as he, he should be getting stunned right now, but I saw his attack animation going, trying to dodge out of the way. Maybe the stun is a percentage chance that I don't know about. Instead of it being a 100% likelihood of being stunned when you get hit, it's just a percentage chance on it. Move out of the way of the bomb. Because yeah, I was just smacking him, not into the shield, and he still managed to hit me. You know, so, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know because I would love to get better at this game. You know, I would love to show you guys a beautiful, perfect run all the way through. But if I keep on taking hits like this, then that's almost never going to happen, you know? There we go. What do we have for a run? Your special note, don't need special. Your weak effects are more potent, okay? Your weak effects more potent, weak damage reduction. Your weak effects have a longer duration. I mean, I'd rather go for more potency because then they're going to be doing 40% less damage. Again, I'm trying to build this all up with the idea of versing the ending boss. You know, in general, I'm trying to verse Hades, my father. Um, do I guess I'm going to go darkness? I, uh, yeah, no. No, let's go gems. I think gems are going to be nice this time because this probably can give me like 20 or 30 for being a mini boss. Oh, it's not even a mini boss. It's just a maybe more difficult room in general because I don't see any bosses. Oh, God, they're all archers. They're all archers in a trap. <laughs> they're all archers. Activate my previousness right there. I don't want to take any hits. God, I hate these archers so much. It's so impossible. You cannot dodge the archers. It is impossible to dodge them. Like, you see that little reticule on you? You got to dodge. Excuse me, excuse me. I dodged. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. There was one red ridicule on me, and I dodged at the very moment he was about to strike me. Oh, he fires multiple times. I thought they fired once. Oh my god. Ah, that is just so much unnecessary damage. And there's another wave. Holy crap. Okay, well, this is gonna be. I might be dying here. I might be dying here. Yep, there's several waves of the bows right there. God, I hate that bow so much. You cannot dodge it. And when there's so many like that, it's nearly impossible to do it. Oh my God. Okay, take out these guys that are running around. Try to take out this bow, dude, as much as I can. How are you not dying? Please, die, die, die. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm smacking into you. Just die already, why don't we? Oh, you can tell I'm getting a little bit tilted because, uh, well getting a little complaining <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, I'm getting tilted i know i can play better i swear that i am doing better but the game would disagree with me by a vast majority amounts okay okay stay away from these guys they explode basically on contact uh i don't have my cast where's my cast there is a little orb here that has little butterflies okay how how that hurt me again I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it because like this, uh, that orb lays off butterflies and my attacks, see, get rid of the butterflies. It makes them despawn. They should not be able to hurt me. My blade rift also, actually, blade rift does not do that, it seems. But you know, with all the attacks I was giving out on this thing, nothing should be able to come out on me like that. Yeah, I've just took two more damage. I, I, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> you know, I do not understand it. There. There is probably so many nuances to this game in general that I just do not understand any of them. I died? From what? What hit me? What? I, I, I didn't even see myself get hit by anything. What? I did. I did. What? <laughs> what? What killed me? I don't understand it. <laughs> I swear. I swear I can do better. Oh, I'm getting so tilted right now. Use my purposes. And God, this guy's taking no damage. Just die already. Just die. Just die. I should be doing so much damage. I have so many boons to do damage to you. I'm doing like 50 per. Right there. Oh, baby. Ooh, 
Ooh, the, the salt, the salt, the salt is so, hmm. <laughs> it is, it's coming out. So we do have one more dash here, which is gonna be pretty nice. Uh, I don't want that. I want to go take the key, please. I don't want that many buff gems. That is just going to get me killed here. Uh, use my rune to the best of my ability. I can use all this for cover. He's just going to stand there and take the damage. Was that 540 damage overall that was just for that rune? My, oh my God. <laughs> There's so much going on. <laughs> Trying to move out of the way that I'm just going to use the casting to my advantage. Because, uh, my God, look at all this bullet hell. How am I even supposed to get close to them? I thought this was supposed to be a regular room. You guys are treating this like a, like a mini boss. I know that this is a mini boss room because I've seen mini bosses exactly like this. Come on. <laughs> You're going to bounce in the exact direction it takes to hit me. That's BS, right? The second that I move out and more and more. Okay, that's it. That's it. I do extra damage to guys with armor. So I may as well just go in there right now. Just start hitting them because apparently the cast is not doing enough to help these guys. Yep, yep. I'm going to use my greater call now. Become impervious. You can't hurt me. Just stab you in the back. Get him stunned. There we go. There we go. All that for just one key. Okay. Can I buy? Yeah, 48 health, please. Please and thank you. Do I want free for 38? No, that's too much for... Hang on. Wait a second. The starting comes with the gauge gauge is 50% full. I already started at 30. Yeah, so I'm going to be at 45% full every single time. I kind of want extra health here. But I also just kind of want the merchant. I, I need more health back in general as well. 88 out of 125. What do we have? So I can either buy the mystery or I can get more health. Got to go for more health. I got to go for the healing aspect because we're about to have this floor's boss. And uh, they are quite difficult. More so than you'd think. Let's take a look. Time for the main event. So the fiend returns to challenge us again, Asterius. Or rather, to besmirch the honor of this competition. Besmirch what honor? You're just complaining that you lost, even though I was outnumbered. Silence, you monster. I'll hear no more such wicked lies, half-truths, or quarter-truths. Or quarter-truths. however, soon shall hear my blessed spear. Specifically, the sound it makes whilst sliding into your exposed midsection. Defend yourself. Well, all right. Yeah, the Theus just seems to be quite adamant about taking me out here. So, yeah, the biggest struggle is definitely the Minotaur because he moves around a lot and he chases you pretty good. And he does a lot of damage when he does end up striking. But you know, I have a lot of nice boons for actually specifically against this boss. One, the chilling, and two, the blade rift is going to be really good against these guys because he seems to always go towards where I was instead of where I am like that. So he's going to be falling into my blade rift quite often. Oh, God, barely dodged that. <laughs> barely dodged that. Slow down his movement speed with my chill. Oh, that is, oh, I was just a little bit too late. Okay. Let's use this to my advantage. Just start smacking him as much as I can. Smack him as much as I can. I'm invulnerable for a little while. Okay. Smack as much as I can. Do as much as I can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Doing some great damage here. Holy crap. It's about to run out. Nice. He's already half dead. It, what? What? How? No, 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 no. That is BS. Now that. Oh, God. You are not touching me. <laughs> you are not touching me, though. First of all, that charge ability hurt me when I was like 30 frames away from the guy and his stupid backwards slash thing was absolutely hitting me when I wasn't even inside his circle there. Come on now. Ah, oh, come on. No. How are you telling me I lost this? That I am salty. I am salty. I am so salty right now. I know none of those hit me. There's no way his his charge ability was hitting me when I wasn't even in front of him. His his swing ability was hitting me when I was on his backside. Even that last one there, he was facing one direction. He started a swing and then instantly did a 180 turn on a dime to hit me on the opposite side that I dodged to. That is bullshit. <laughs> I am mad. I am mad. What do you got to say, Hypnos? No. no. I'm pissed off. <laughs> I'm mad. There, I, I, there is so many times there, I swear. There is no reason I should have taken any of that damage. I can't even begin to comprehend how any of that stuff touched me. I know that I was outside of that dodge. There is... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 
Okay, dialogue. Let's... We're here for an episode. We're here to play the game. Let's calm down. We're here for story. We're here for lore. What do you got to say? You asked I trained him, Master. Prepare him for life's labors. You ordered it. Now you admonish me. Be careful of your tone and temper, Shade. You are in my employ. You could be wandering the pastures of Elysium again instead. Or lesser plains, if I so choose. What would you have me do? I shall be giving it some thought. Until then, you just watch that hall. And watch yourself as well. Father, you are a jerk. Like he, like he said, right there, like you ordered me to train Zagreus. Like you ordered me to get him ready to be fight capable. And then now here I am fighting and he's being like berated for getting me ready to fight. And then he's going to be all mad about the fact that he's mad about it. Like, that's Hades. Father, you are just, you are not a good father figure. You are abusive. I tell you what. Any more dialogue around here? Anything special? Oh, hey, Shades, how did you guys die? Thank you for waiting. Prophecies have a way of catching up to you. Cause of death, falling tortoise? <laughs> you know, hey, I have more power to you, my man. I, I, I guess it. Falling tortoise? Sure. We also got some fish. What, what do these fish do? Is if the head chef wants these fish? Hey, get out of it. Oh, I got three keys and two ambrosias? Very nice. Well, hey, we still got some of our keys there. Ancient casks of wine hidden within the recesses of the house of Lord Hades. Few have tasted the intoxicating vintage they contain, and fewer still are permitted anywhere near their vicinity. Very noted. Also, I love how I can see all the. Uh, we'll open one of these. You can see all the claw marks that Cerberus left in here. Remember how this area was closed off because I guess Cerberus went on a rampage and they had to renovate it? Yeah, you can still see the claw marks on the ground. <laughs> That's great. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hey, employee of the month. Cerberus. It's Cerberus. House servant. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, all right, Digity. Thank you for watching the episode. You know, as much as uh, as much as I have been aggravated. Oh, oh, Medusa. Hang on real quick. I want to give you an ambrosia in Medusa. Miss Dusa, I wanted you to have this. It's nothing really, just for your hard work. P -p Prince, I'm really grateful for this, really. And I thought I kind of got something for you. Oh, what'd you give me? Thanks, Miss Dusa. Or be feather duster. Oh, that is beautiful. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I uh, hope you're having a nice stay. Even though you don't want to live here anymore, Your Highness. <laughs> Even though you don't want to live here anymore. I hope you're... Okay, bye, do so. There she goes. All right, well, as I was saying, thank you, DJs, for watching the episode. I, I I, got a little bit too salty. I, oh, baby, oh, baby, I was ooh, a little upset. Just a little upset. I got to take just a little bit upset. But hey, next episode, we're going to be checking out those gloves that we have there in the room because uh, they looked pretty powerful. And if I, again, if I remember anything from it, I think those were my favorite weapons. So look forward to that episode tomorrow. So thank you, DJs, for watching the video. I tell you what, I'm excited to explore the rest of the story and the lore, but I still don't really know how to do any of these outros. But if there's one thing that I can always guarantee you, that I'll be able to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you, and bye bye. I'll leave with petting the dog. You are the best, you know.